Hello, Faith Christian Center, and welcome to this Wednesday edition of our Fireside Chat. I'm working from home this morning, and I'm going to be in the office later this afternoon getting ready for tonight. We're going to do some different things tonight, but I'll mention that to you a little later. I want to share with you a little bit out of our marriage and then show you how that applies to where we are now. I'm sure you may get tired of me saying this, but I, I say it for a reason. Uh, next month, my wife and I will have been married 53 years, and God has brought us through some very turbulent times and very difficult times. And in the process, I've, I've learned something. Well, let me say this. I'm learning some things. I've by no means mastered the things that God has been teaching me and using the, our marriage, uh, my growing in our marriage to help me understand and grow in ministry and in relating to other people. And one of the lessons that he's taught me, or is still teaching me, because I forget it and many times I don't apply this, is that before I can speak into Anita's life, I need to have listened to her and heard her heart. God made us very dif very differently. When he put that first man and woman together, it was God, together, it was God that said it's not good for man to be alone. <laughs> and I remember early in our marriage saying, God, she doesn't think the way I think. I'm, I'm very logical rational controlled thinker and she is anything but that she's emotional she's all over the place and i just i just don't understand her uh and i used to get upset and frustrated with her and i would say god she doesn't think the way i think you need to change the way she thinks and one day when i really cried out to him about it i heard him speak to me so clearly he said i didn't make her to be like you i gave her to you being different for a reason and that jolted me. I can't, I'm ashamed to confess my first reaction is, why would you do something like that? And then I realized who I was talking to. And then I began to realize, all right, if you made her different than me, then there's some value in this. There's some purpose for this. I need to know. And what I found as I've grown in this is that her difference challenges me. Without that difference, I'll never grow. I'm happy being who I am. I believe Adam was happy being who he was. But her difference challenges me to grow especially in terms of walking in love. What did Jesus say to his disciples right before he went to the cross, the ultimate act of love? He said he commanded them to love one another, and they were very different from one another. He commanded them to love one another, and he said the standard was, as I have loved you. He commanded, and then he went on to say, and the world's going to know what I'm like by the way you love one another. And so what I've had to learn is in order to love her, I have to listen to her with my heart. If I don't do that, we're like two, two opposite poles on things going at each other, trying to convince each other that I'm right and she's trying to convince me that she's right. And when we do that, we never grow. Now let's bring that over to the situation we're in right now as a church, as a community, as a nation, and the role of the church in all of this. And it's this, we're commanded by Christ to love one another. And that's not just other Christians. We have trouble doing that. It's also the world that's not believers yet. We're commanded to, to love them. But in order to do that, we've got to be willing to listen to where they're coming from. It doesn't mean we have to agree with them. I don't always agree with my wife. But I've, what the Lord put it this way. He says, before you can speak into her life, you have to be willing to be touched by what she's going through because what that does is it changes my heart towards her instead of speaking to her out of the law out of my head I now speak to her out of my heart and that's a heart of love and, and God is love so whenever we speak or do anything that's outside of love we're speaking outside of God and that's sin that's as plain and simple as I can say it but that's exactly what the Bible says and so as Christians together in a church that's 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 God has brought together all different kinds of, of races together. The first commandment is that we love one another, which means we have to be willing to listen to what each other's going through and, and understand. And out of that, the world will begin to realize that this is what Jesus is like. Well, I'm going to talk more about this Sunday and some other things. But I want to encourage you to tune in to our, our, our program tonight live at 730. We're going to be do something a little different. I was, it's been promoted as a D2L takeover night. They're going to do the worship, but I'm going to do something very different. I'm going to listen tonight, and this is challenging for me to do, but if I don't listen, I don't grow, and if I stop growing, then, then God can, cannot use me anymore, and that I will not allow that to happen. So, uh, love you, bless you. This is a great opportunity 
for us as Christians to grow and to mature and allow Christ to be formed in us. Or we can go the other way and harden our hearts, stick to our own positions, and open the door to Satan to tear us apart. And then that Satan will get the glory out of that. And we'll ultimately have to give an account to God for what we choose to do in this time. So love you. Appreciate you being part of this chat today. And we'll be back again tomorrow. God bless you. We'll see you then.